Hello lovelies and welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are returning to the doll room. Now all week we've been kind of doing a mermaid with lots of mermaid dolls in the mix this week. So I thought why not continue with one of the special dolls from the mermaids collection and I say one of the special dolls because there were three waves of dolls released for mermaids. So there was the initial wave, then there were the winter waves, and then there was the slumber party dolls released here in the UK. And then in amongst that, there were a couple of standalone dolls and a car, I think, as well. And this is one of the standalone dolls. This is Aura, and she got released, I think, just after the first wave of dolls it might have been at the same time actually because these are all the first wave dolls pictured on the back um so she was a complete standalone doll not part necessarily of the first wave but released at that time she comes with a whole array of hair glitters and a hairbrush um, the hair glitters look quite full-on you can see it being used there in the back and her doll in that big image looks like she's got hair gel in the hair gel it'll probably go into a pot somewhere in the bathroom in case we have, ever have crazy hair days left at school but i thought why don't we open her today it would be really nice to get this one opened for the mermaid shelf so that's what we're doing today so i hope that you have enjoyed this week so far with the mermaid dolls I am floored really it's been um it's been a strange one because to be honest I never intended to I never intended to have a, a, a dedicated mermaid doll collection um and yet like some of you have noted that it seems like I made the shelf for the mermaids with the cruise ship on which I did at the uh, at the start of what well, in yeah the start of last week and ever since then it just seems like the mermaids have just kept swimming towards me swimming into the cove of this doll room uh, i got sent the promotional box of mermaid dolls from kika goods which i shared now i didn't go um chasing anybody for any sponsorship for that it was just an email that landed in my inbox completely by surprise and I didn't even get to choose the dolls they offered me the mermaid dolls again complete and utter surprise out of the blue and then I have done the two videos this week finding the mermaid high new in box in store for £10 each that was completely unexpected i wasn't even out doll shopping i was birthday present shopping for my daughter that was the only reason i was at the shops because i am trying to get dolls unboxed um now and i don't want any <laughs> new dolls until i'm a little bit more financially in a place where i can buy new dolls but even so just randomly walking up the toy aisle to get to the tills not even on a toy shopping trip there they were there were all of mermaid high i'd never ever seen mermaid high even in the shops before couldn't believe my eyes so it does seem like there is a siren call going on in this doll room currently which is incredibly fun i I think I should get my mermaid oracle out and pull us some oracle readings. What do you think? Would you like it if I did that? I know it is something slightly different on the channel, but I could do some shorts with some of the sirens and with some oracle cards. That would be fun, mightn't it? Look, there's a whole array of hair clips. That's fun. There's the hair gel so those are quite fun as well you've got like silver and pink and purple and green um there is a pretty cool mermaid's 
hairbrush. Um, right, let's just snip this hair out. Oh, she's still joined there. Now, the thing that I absolutely adore about these mermaid dolls, I think, to be honest, it's the it's the amazingness of their hair which if you're going to have a mermaid doll the hair being incredible i think is quite important um also it's the beauty of their faces i just think they're such beautiful pretty dolls the downside is how tricky they are to balance on their stands sometimes which is what winter wave got got right winter wave really really got that right with the stands she's i can't see anywhere else to snip and yet she's still joined in right just bear with me a minute so i i think mermaids is a line that kind of splits people a little bit i think you either love them or they're just not for you in fact i think mermaid dolls just full stop i think again it's the the difficulty of you know posing them well you know just the fact that they don't have legs so i think for some people that's just a, a no-go right let's turn the camera around my gosh she's gorgeous she's completely tangled up in her hair look let me sort her out and i'll come back to you so she's out now and she is absolutely gorgeous and looking at the box it looks like her silver tail completely goes black by the looks of it all the tails had color change features and it just looks like her entire tail goes goes black and that's where the feature is and the way her tail fin opens up it reminds me of this monster high ghost mermaid which is the only mermaid monster high doll i've ever found at charity shopping because she stands on her tail fins that open up like this and and so does this mermaid i'm going to put them next to each other so you can kind of see the size difference because i know if you like aura i've seen her still around available on amazon i'm not affiliate linked it's just if you love her it's nice to know that she's still available um and yeah I just, oh my gosh i love mermaids and i don't know why they didn't do all the tails like this because she doesn't need a stand and she's super stable let me show you so guys you can really see the size difference here between the monster high ghost mermaid and then this mermaid doll that i've just opened um really she is quite a big doll i mean all the all the mermaid dolls really for fashion dolls they are like quite large really um but with all the other mermaid dolls she has the most gorgeous 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 face so what are those earrings let's have a look the earrings just look like almost like frost particles hanging down can you see those um yeah they just look like chains or something hanging down and she's got the most beautiful inset eyes mine seems to have does she have a, a tiny few paint chips on her lips but i'm okay with that really i just think she's so so pretty so she's got articulation in the top part of her chest it's hard to show you one-handed because although she is more stable she still will like fall over if you're too rough with her she's got all the articulation in the elbows and the wrists again the thing that i've always loved with is how nicely the hands are sculpted i just think they did just such a fantastic job with the sculpting and i love kind of all this sort of scale work that is on her middle which is like molded plastic but this is more like fabric this is more like glittered fabric it's a completely different texture and then it comes all the way down to her tail that splits open which is why i said she's a bit like the this doll as well just because of the way they stand um so she's pretty stable she did just kind of begin to topple backwards on me so not totally stable but then it's the same thing over and over again isn't it with mermaid dolls you do kind of 
get this sort of instability. Now the back of her, you can see her rooting pattern is a bit barren there at the back, I have to say. Um, so that is a little bit disappointing. That's the first time I've seen that in any of the mermaid's dolls. Normally the mermaid's hair, there's so much hair, you don't quite know what to do with it. So I think that will just need like the hair kind of brushing more over the center. But the hair is super long and super soft. And I just think the color pattern of it and it's just so lovely. And look at the detailing up the back there. Just absolutely gorgeous. But like I'm saying, it's the faces on these dolls that just blow me away with the real rooted eyelashes. They're just beautiful detailed dolls. And if you like mermaid dolls, then I think if you can still get your hands on any of the mermaids, um, because they're finished now, of course, the third wave, the third line, which got released, I think only in the UK still, if, if, if you can get your hands on any of them now because they are finished then do it because if you like mermaid dolls they are really right up there so let me show you while i've got two hands to do it so her top mobility is there this bit not really so much in that bit it's just the upper upper body that can move but lovely articulation in the arms um, and then this you can either open it like that or close it a bit taller open too far she was toppling back so i have had to close it a little bit um let's see if we can sort that hair out actually it might be what some of the clips are for it might be um that they they want you to clip it i don't know but let's just see so if we can just pull a brush over it to close that parting up a little bit see so i mean it's a bit much to moan about the hair when there is this much hair but i've just never seen a gap like that i think it was just the way the box was and you know if you did want to clip it you've got plenty of clips haven't you but i'm not going to put clips in her hair i want her hair to be full mermaid vibe oh my gosh she is gorgeous should we put her on the shelf she's gorgeous isn't she so there she is at the back of the shelf behind this beautiful girl with her treasure trunk and i think you will agree with me that she just makes the most gorgeous gorgeous addition to the mermaid shelf which is getting so full that i actually put that monster high mermaid down from this shelf and she's over on the Monster High shelf now. But yeah, I'm loving the way this is looking. So there she is up on the top shelf. And then there is the Monster High mermaid on that shelf there. So yeah, mermaids seem to be a thing, which is great considering I'm taking part in mermaid. Uh, yeah, so another one guys joins the shelf and i think she is really stunning i really love her colorings and i love the color of her hair yeah i think she looks fantastic so thanks guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time in the doll room bye